Hey there, guys. What's going on? Thank you so much for coming back to Cobra TV. No Man's Sky was one of the most polarizing games that was released, and it continues to be talked about even today, three years after. It is a game that set the bar pretty high for ambitious ideas. And Hello Games is also the studio that set the standard for how games are handled when they're released that have a very vigorous backlash. To some people, No Man's Sky will be remembered as one of the worst games ever released. But to a lot of people, they will remember No Man's Sky as the game that handled the backlash properly and is the comeback kid of all time. It's used in examples when people talk about Anthem, when people talk about uh, Sea of Thieves and other games uh, guaranteed that will come out in the future will also be said. Can they pull it off like No Man's Sky? And on the night, uh, Sean Murray did have his talk at the Develop Conference. If you joined our live stream, that was a very interesting time. But we're going to cover some highlights of what happened at the uh, Develop Conference. A Games Radar uh, article points out that Hello Games is yet to officially reveal uh, what it will be turning its attention to after it's done with No Man's Sky, but you better believe that it's going to be an even more ambitious undertaking than the procedural generation of an entire explorable universe. Uh, like, more ambitious than anything the team has put out into the world so far. And this is very exciting for us since uh, this is typically a No Man's Sky channel. We do cover other games that are in development, uh, but covering anything that Hello Games is going to be putting out in the future is also going to be a big, gigantic focal point here. And they are talking about something pretty big in the works, and we're going to go ahead and get into that. Uh, but at this uh, developed conference, a lot was talked about with the develop uh, development of No Man's Sky and, uh, you know, the future of what they're going to be working on. They do talk a little bit about what is going to happen with No Man's Sky, or how long we're going to get updates with No Man's Sky. Uh, Sean Murray goes on to say, as long as it's still creative, as long as they're still having fun and, and, and being passionate about making updates for No Man's Sky, it's going to go ahead and continue. So a lot of that excitement is uh, like uh, you guys are fuel for the Hello Games. So the more that we are vocal in our community, the more that we tell them thank you and uh, that they're doing a great job and everything, our excitement fuels them. And I think as long as we're excited, they're going to keep it going. But nothing about Beyond was really talked about. Just uh, mentioned the two pillars that we have so far, the two updates. I uh, talked a little bit about VR and online. Not in detail, nothing that we could use. Just pretty much said we're coming out with VR and expanding on multiplayer. But it was a very interesting talk as we got to hear just a little bit more about how ambitious their new title is going to be. Sean Murray was quoted at the Develop Conference by saying, We've got something else going on at the studio, and it's exciting, but it is unfortunately going to be ambitious. Basically, we had a little chat after No Man's Sky, and we decided that making games is really hard, like it just is. It doesn't matter what type of game you make. Uh, you can speak to any developer you'll meet right at the start of the development, and they will say, we're making this little physics puzzle game, a Tetris clone. Then you'll meet them three years later, and they have all these massive beards right down to here. He continues laughing, and as he acknowledges those, the, you know, the photos that we all seen <laughs> um, uh, pre-launch, uh, pre um, so he goes on to saying that it's, it's, uh, they start off with a simple idea and it gets hard. Uh, but I think this time they're starting off with a hard idea and it's going to get even harder. One of my favorite quotes, uh, during the conference is when Sean Murray was quoted by saying, uh, weirdly, my conclusion from that is let's go and make something really crazy, ambitious. It's going to be hard anyway, right? Joe Danger uh, was really hard. No Man's Sky was really hard. They are actually comparable levels. There are actually comparable levels of hardness. Uh, but No Man's Sky had a real impact. Uh, it has hundreds of millions of hours played. So let's do that again. Let's do crazy and silly things like that again. As long as it hasn't been done before. Then that's interesting to me. And we're okay commercially. So let's go nuts. You'll meet me three years from now. And I'll have my beard back down to here. Murray was also quoted at the Develop Conference by saying that he wants the team to dare to be ambitious. And so here's the part that is kind of interesting with Sean Murray trying to uh, combat creative fatigue at Hello Games. 
uh, by ensuring that the team is only experimenting, prototyping, and building content that excites the staff creating it. Uh, there's a thing where people suggest features, and I can't go through them uh, with you out loud because people would kill me. <laughs> but they make complete sense to add on paper, and they might be easy for us to add, but we would never add them. The reason for that is that they would be a bit boring to implement. They would just be more of the same. Loads of games are doing that, and there's nothing wrong with that. But if you look at games as a service, games that uh, they are just doing the next skin pack or whatever, we haven't really done that, and it's nice that we don't have to. It's nice that we can kind of have those conversations where we think, if uh, we were all sat in a room at Hello Games and somebody isn't getting excited by what we're talking about, then we aren't going to do it. You can see it on their faces. They start yawning. They say, yeah, I guess we could do uh, different variants of the helmet. Uh, they just and they just have the pained look in their eyes. So, no, we're definitely not doing that now. He says they're not doing that now. Uh, the article goes on to say, if, you, if you're wondering why we haven't received a suite of cosmetic items in No Man's Sky, such as new skins for the pilots and ships, this is it. It's also why we have received the wild exploration expansions in No Man's Sky next and are about to see multiplayer overhauled in, and the addition of VR support in the summer's No Man's Sky Beyond, all free of charge. Uh, Sean Murray doesn't want this to change for Hello Games. He wants the studio to follow its passion. Uh, it won't work for every studio, though, he tells me, but this will help him deliver better content to the millions of players out there that are hungry to consume it. So the takeaway from most of the conference was that they're enjoying on working on No Man's Sky. They don't want to add small little things in, in the game that are not ambitious. Their focal point is uh, ambition, creativity. But the way Shalmar is talking as far as uh, more skins and more variants for the ships and more variants for the helmet and the exosuits and things like that, it's not out of the question. They seem to be focusing on experience uh, more so. How can they deliver a much more immersive experience? But a good takeaway from this is that they are working on something new, something that, uh, based on the way he's talking, seems to be more ambitious than No Man's Sky. Something that's harder for them to do than No Man's Sky. And I really look forward to finding out what that is in the years to come. I don't think it's going to be a very easy game to cover, although I will be covering it as much as possible. But I don't think it's going to be like before when we were covering No Man's Sky where Sean Murray is being interviewed here and there showing at a B3. Uh, I don't think that we're going to see that again. I think that we're going to just uh, maybe see it. <laughs> Hopefully this isn't true, but maybe see it closer towards uh, the end when it's almost done. But it was a great conversation nonetheless. I will put this link in the description down below so you guys can check it out. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until next time.